back. This is Andy Ace 83, and with me today is Undivided Eliza. And we are continuing from our previous video where uh, I died, but I replayed that part where I died. Uh, yes. And then. Uh, survived. Survived. And now we're gonna try and not die. So, uh, I'm gonna save. Again. And it's very important that you see that I saved. Yeah. So you keep track of how many saves I've done. And this is the 15th save I've had. And we have now... 3 saves left. Thank God we're halfway through the game. <laughs> well actually it's true, you know. We are only halfway through yeah. the game. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna put this. This is the gift from Barry. Uh, now we have ten of those. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see if we can kill these uh, creatures, hunters, yeah. with a shotgun. Are you gonna uh, stop the sound? Or, uh... No, no. No, no. Enjoy the silence. Okay. There we go. Uh oh! Uh oh! That's why you should. Be. Okay, he's not dead. He's only dead when he is scrolling on his feet. Okay, we're still at caution. Okay, okay here's another one. Hello! Run away, Jill! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I, I don't want to waste any more bullets. Okay. Oh, she survived. How about that? Okay, gonna okay, use a little okay. gift from Barry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Barry. We love you. Now run, 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 run like the wind. Run, 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 run like the wind. No, don't. No, I said run like the wind, not run on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. I thought you had that out of your system now. No, I don't. Now, let's see if this key that we have here, that we found, do you remember where you found it? In a helmet? No. no yeah, this is a helmet, but... Yeah, it's a helmet, yeah. But I don't know where. We found it in the fireplace. In the fireplace? Yeah. You use the helmet key. Lovely. Shut it. <laughs> okay, here's a little puzzle for ya. Uh, yeah. Yay! I kind of forgot how you solve it. Okay. You see, if we walk into this little room here. The walls will be closing. You see that? The walls yeah. are closing. That is the puzzle. You need to push the statue. Look at that statue, huh? Nice. You had uh, architecture and sculpture history in college, didn't you? What era would you place this little piece of germ? Germ, not germ, germ, yes, but it's uh, like the mundo, what it is? It's a little germ from the 18th century. Ah, uh, you're just no. making up. <laughs> I think we're gonna pick up our gardener's art through the ages later, and then you can have a look. <laughs> it's a big book, very, very big book. No, don't shove it there. Okay, so now push. push it there. Push it real good. Come on, Jill, you can do it! You are crazy! Oh, she's going to die! Don't she's going up. to... Ah. Good work, Jill! You Let's have a look on what's... Okay, there's nothing there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run down here again. 
Look at that nice statue, which I think is Art Deco. No, not Art Deco. Uh, what's that? Get sometimes cones, I think it was called. You remember that? Get sometimes cones? No, but uh, quite modern. No, it's uh, quite old. It's when uh, art is supposed to be a part of the surroundings. It's supposed to recognize the surroundings. Yeah, but it's not from the. Uh, no, no, it's not. Alright, you may be right. We're gonna have a look at art through the ages later and see. Uh, but it was a good sometimes on strike, wasn't it? It's sometimes it was a German word. You should never say you don't know. You should always say yes. That sounds right. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna shove it. There. Come on, Bill. Shove it, shove it, shove it, shove it good. Shove it real good. Yay! Woohoo! We solve it! And what happened then? Nothing. What happens if I press the button now? Let's just for fun see what happens. I've never done it before. We can't do that. Can't I think this. Uh, I think this room has more pictures in it than the gallery was it was in earlier. What? Yeah, that looks like uh, uh, this uh, story from the Bible, which is not in the Bible. It's a book. I don't know. Apocryptic. Uh, Apocryptic. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Where she kills her husband. I don't remember that story, but fine. But I would say that the style of the picture seems to be Renaissance. Baroque. Baroque. Okay, I think it's Baroque. Okay. Again, we're gonna have a look at art through the ages later. <laughs> this picture you cannot see from this angle. Let's see. Okay, it looks like a. That it looks like a Renaissance. No, 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 Renaissance. Uh, 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 Wiener classicism. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not in English. <laughs> there is something called Wiener Classicism, which is like uh, the time of the French aristocracy and stuff like that. Okay, let's uh, let's take take art to the ages later and yeah, talk about let's it. Do that. Here's a Daga! Daga. I, I guess everybody who watched my Let's Plays are very interested in the art, especially yeah. the classic arts. Yeah. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it. Oh no! Go. Go down. I need a flashlight! Well, we don't have a flashlight. Okay, let's just jump into the darkness! We went into the darkness. And then something on the floor. Barry! I'm stuck down here! Barry! Barry. Oh! Looks a like a book. Maybe I'm it's sure. Darkness, art. The ages. Yeah, it's, no, it's <laughs> Eagle of South, Wolf of North, Volume 1. Oh, no, no, it was no. written by uh, the German philosopher uh, Frederick Kollontai. Uh, uh, no, I'm just uh, joking. The author isn't written here, it seems. Isn't that mysterious, huh? Yes. A book written by somebody, but the author is not Secret. mentioned. I think it's Virginia Woolf. Get it? Okay, let's look inside the book. A medal was hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle. Found inside the last book, volume 1. Is there a special way to use it? Probably. Probably. <laughs> But we're stuck down here. What are we going to do? Oh no! Maybe we can use it. It's another right book. Here. Look, there's another book. No, it must be the book of the north. Ah, you have seen. Uh, you obviously read um, uh, K Game of Thrones. <laughs> no. It's a it's a wolf of the north there. Really? Yes. Uh, no, I just said it because there was a house. The wolf. Ah, I got it. I, the pun wasn't that clever. Anyway, yes, yes. November 29, 1967. Woo! I can't get out. 
I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I am trapped. Oh no! I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? I don't know. At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to mind. Jessica! Jessica! I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No! I can't give up hope. I have to hope they are alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness something caught my eye. Carefully I lit the last match. I had to see what it was. A grave! No. But deeply engraving into the stone was my name, George Trevor. Oh, At Jack. that instant it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. Basically like so, have you seen that movie? No. But it's too late now. I'm going, I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, Lisa. forgive me. You're ruining my uh, <laughs> passionate reading. <laughs> because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange. For your safety, George Trevor. Okay. A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor! George Trevor. But where are George Trevor? That's what I want. Shouldn't there be a body here? There's a switch. Press it. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, that that must be the reason why he isn't there because this I mean that was the part. If you just missed the switch, then okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, we went down into the hole in case you didn't understand. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a spider. If you don't sing, you better sing loud. No, I was singing in a creepy way. Okay, we, we don't have a lot of bullets. We don't have a lot of bullets anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> Stupid girl! Blind spider. He died. And then his friend is behind him. Yes, I know. Thank God they brought the purple herb, huh? Yeah. Use the purple herb and we're still fine. Sometimes I pull it enough. Still not dead! God damn it, die! I'm afraid we did not bring enough weapons. Oh no! Whatever are we going to do? Let's hope we can find something here. Yes. Weapons, weapons, come on, come on. In case you don't understand, I'm now walking around pressing A everywhere I go in hopes that something will be here. Uh oh, I'm. If I'm posting that. God damn it, Jill! You stupid girl! What the hell am I supposed to do now? You 
are poisoned and you don't have any ammo and you're trapped in George Trevor's tomb. Beep grave. Beep grave. <laughs> the grave was <laughs> grave. <laughs> oh. We are so screwed, and then we have to do it all again. Unless I find a blue herb somewhere. Blue. Okay. Inside the cardboard box lies the discarded shells of molting spiders. Okay. How about some blue herb? Blue herb. There's a map of Mansion B1. Take it. Okay. Never in the basement, in case you didn't know. Yeah. Oh yes. We were in the sky. Uh, you're not. You're making fun of this game. <laughs> you're not taking it serious. <laughs> think of George to Trevor. Think of Lisa. Think of Jessica. <laughs> exactly. Now how's my health now? Yay! Oh, yay! oh that's. You got some herbs. Okay. I'm Yes, I'm gonna pick that up. Pick a red one. Pick a blue one. Yes. Will you take the blue herb? Yes. Yes. I sent an enemy somewhere close. Should we uh, wait you to use it until uh, until we're sure that? Uh, I think you should look up around the corner and see what's going on. Oh, it's a zombie. Oh, yeah. it, but it's just a zombie, so I guess we can. Uh, Oh, oh dagger! A dagger! You can stab him good! Well, you can't stab him, but you can. Uh oh! Come on, you need to find Ammo. weapon! Ammo! Okay. Yay! <laughs> it doesn't and help you us! Have a hang -up. We need a shotgun! <laughs> shotgun bullets! <laughs> okay, but we're gonna open this door. Yeah. You unlocked it! Okay, fine. Okay, but we are going to try. Nice. Yes, and we also have daggers, so. What the hell did I do? The power supply <laughs> appears to That's be That's right, I pressed the pause, yeah. yes, but it was uh, I probably some kind of a power supply is already back on mine. Okay, so I put some power back in line. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I know where we're going now. Yes. Ooh, so many. Stab okay. him in the kisser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you can kill them without any weapons. <laughs> Make sure you have plenty of uh, daggers and stuff. Okay. It's a kitchen! There's more zombies there. Uh, uh, uh. I think we're going to need to save. What do you think? Sure. We're doing so badly that we're going to need to save and pick up more ammo. Can I take the elevator here, by the way? Because in case you didn't understand. It doesn't look like it. Come on! It doesn't look like it actually from this door. Okay. So we need to get back here. But first, I'm gonna save. Oh my god! Run, Jill, you fool! No. Run, Jill! Don't just stand there like a. Oh, didn't he follow you? <laughs> I like. Oh, he's there. He, he was. Okay. <laughs> he looked like he just stormed down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it was. He was dealing with Jill. 
<laughs> yes, but okay, we're closing in. Oh, Woo. this game. Uh, horror. Yeah, it's horrible. It's, it's 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 horrible in a good way. Okay, let's see now. Uh, we're not gonna need this one anymore. How but... about you bring your handgun? Okay, in case of emergency, yeah. yeah. You could always bring the survival knife too. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then, you know, Magnum Revolver, yes. Uh, ink Ribbon, yes. I don't think you're gonna need this one right now. So, yes. Okay. Now let's save and have our little break. I really need a break because I I'm, I'm, I'm adrenaline is pumping, pumping, rushing. yeah, pumping yeah. my body like it's never done before. And also, we only have two saves. <gasps> I don't remember how much I used to save, but uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll see you in another installment.